Can you believe we finally made it? I think I'm almost as nervous as that first date. You've taught me so much about love. Not only have I been lucky enough to feel truly in love with you, I felt your love in return. I've also learned that with you, love is much more than what we feel for each other. What makes you so special is how much love you give to everyone around you. Billy, I thank God for that snowy day in March when we finally met. I have always said that our guardian angels brought us together, and I truly believe that. The way our lives could have and should have crossed paths so many times, but we didn't meet until the exact right moment is like a love story out of a movie. You were my perfect match, and you knew it from the start. You have always showed me patience, understanding, kindness, and unconditional love and support. You continue to push me to be my best self and help me learn and grow every single day. I will be forever grateful for that. Bill did finally go on the date with Galen and I could tell immediately something was different. I'd never seen him smiling so big and bouncing off the walls, and I'd seen him at Candy Kitchen, so that's really saying a lot. <laughs> but when my wife Kristen and I met Kaylin, we completely understood why. She brings such a positive and fun vibe anywhere she goes. Amazing sense of humor. We're always laughing when we're together. Fast forward to the second date. Billy, being the gentleman that he is, insisted on picking up Kaylin. Again, that date started at my house. So I was getting ready with Kaylin, and she was just like a giddy schoolgirl, so excited to see her like middle school crush. So it's obvious that the sparks were flying between these two. Kaylin, Billy, we love you so much. been my guiding light through some of the hardest moments of my life and always a perfect counterbalance to keep me grounded. I am so grateful you gave me our redheaded daughter Zoe. You two are quite the package deal and I can't wait to grow our family together and experience the journey of real parenthood as a team. I promise to always be there to celebrate the good things, to support you in the tough times, I promise to always make time for us and Zoe. I vow to be gracious when the Cowboys beat the Eagles <laughs> and supportive if somehow the Eagles win. <laughs> Lastly, I promise to always save you the last piece of candy, the one you swear you don't want, but always eat. It brings me tremendous joy to say this. Officially and publicly, I pronounce you as husband and wife. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. DiNardo. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>